A year ago, last Thursday, I was strolling in the zoo when I met a man who thought he knew a lot. He was laying down the law about the habits of baboons and the number of quills a porcupine has got. So I asked him, what's that creature there? He answered, yeah, it's a, it's a helk. <laughs> I might have gone on thinking that was true if the animal in question hadn't put the chap to shame and remarked, I ain't a helk, I'm a gnu. <laughs> I'm a gnu, I'm a gnu, the nicest work of nature in the zoo. I'm a gnu, how do you do? You really ought to know a who's for who. I'm a gnu, spelt G N U. I'm not a camel or a kangaroo. So let me introduce, I'm gonna neither man nor moose. Oh, gnu, 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 I'm a gnu. So I've done a bit high there. <laughs> I'd taken furnished lodgings down at Russington-on-Sea, whence I travelled on through ashton under Lyme. And the second night I stayed there, I was wakened from a dream, which I'll tell you all about some other time. <laughs> Among the hunting trophies on the wall above my bed, stuffed and mounted, was a face I thought I knew. A bison? No, it's not a bison. An okapi? It's unlikely. Could it be a hearty beast? I seem to hear a voice. I'm a gnu. I'm a gnu. A gnu, the gnu. I wish I could gnash my teeth at you. I'm a gnu. How do you do? You really ought to gnu who's who. I'm a gnu. Spelt G N U. Call me bison or okapi and I'll sue. Gnor am I in the least, like that dreadful hearty beast. Gno, 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 I'm a gnu. Gno, 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 I'm a gnu. <laughs> <laughs>